Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Esther, Esther series, Adjust Your Crown. I'm excited to teach this series. Um, and I'm excited that you all decide to chime in. We're just going to do quick little teachings and go through the book of Esther. I'm not sure of how long it's going to take. I'm not, I hadn't put down any weeks or what, what I choose to, um, dive into whatever God gives me to share with you all. But I knew that he was giving me the Esther series and I've been really studying and then watching movies and trying to research and get more clear inside of the Queens that are in this book. So the first queen that we're going to talk about is Queen Vashti. We're just going to um, jump right into it. We all know that Queen Vashti said no to the king's command of her coming to his party. Some say that um, it was because she was having a party of her own. Um, and as you know that he was having a, a seven-day party and showing all his riches and had unlimited amounts of food and drinks. And they were just partying it up. And Queen Vashti was having her own party. She was entertaining the ladies as well. So when she said no, I guess everybody was taken back. But again, some say that it's because she was having a party of her own. Some say because that she... He asked her to come naked because in the scripture, it, it tells us that he said, wear your royal crown. But also the Bible says that the king wanted to show her beauty because her beauty was um, to behold. It was just, she was one of the most beautiful women in all the kingdom. But Vashti refused. Vashti said no. But how many of you know that sometimes a no is required? Sometimes a no is a must. Sometimes a no is purpose. Sometimes a no won't won't be received well. A lot of you remember sometimes you tell somebody no and they just, I can't believe she said no to me. We're not even talking about kings at this point. We just, we're talking about maybe your children. Sometimes a no just won't go over well. But listen, sometimes a no is required. And sometimes a no will cause you to be talked about. And you have to adjust your crown. Sometimes a no will cause you to be abandoned. And you have to adjust your crown. Sometimes a no will ruin your reputation, but you still have to adjust your crown. Queen Vassar felt as though she had the right to continue to party and continue to use her power as queen, saying no. But in doing so, she was punished. So... She was banned from the uh, banned from even coming before the king. She couldn't see the king anymore. She was banned and kicked uh banned from the palace and kicked out. So I asked the question: Could this have been Queen Vashti's purpose to just in in the book of Esther and going down? In history books as Queen Vashti, the only thing we remember her as is not doing what she was commanded to do uh, for the um, for the king, not doing what the king asked her to do. Was was that what was that her only purpose? I asked the question and I asked you ladies, do you think that your only purpose is he, here is to say no? Your no got to be attached to something else. What does your no mean? And in doing in in, in 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 saying your no, you got to be prepared for what's to come after your no. Many have recorded uh, Queen Vashti as being wicked, uh, being a villain, uh, being the one that uh, 
wanted to do what she wanted to do. And uh, um, I've been reading about uh, some say that she was the first to uh, stand up for women's rights. Because again, I, I, tell, I told you that uh, some, uh, some the, uh, theologists and researchers say that the king wanted her to come naked. And she uh, didn't want to expose herself. And she wanted to be modest. And she didn't want to be looked upon or, you know, objectified. Because the men were drunk. Come on, they had been drinking for seven days. You know they was drunk. You know that it was just going to be... Uh, them probably grabbing at her and pulling at her. Can you imagine what it had been like if she would have went into that party? They said she was the most beautiful queen. She was the, Her beauty was to behold. So could you imagine what would have happened if she was a, a, to go in a, a room full of drunk male guests? So was her no justified? Or was her no just, I, I'm the queen and I got the power and I don't have to, I don't have to come to a party with a bunch of drunk men. Let's walk it out. I like to say that Queen Vashti adjusted her crown. Adjusted her crown for Esther. See, if we never fail, if we never make a mistake, if we never do nothing wrong, if we never say no, why would we need God? Why would we need God's hand? Esther is the uh, one of those books that you will not see God or Jesus the Christ. Nowhere in the scripture, but God's hand is still moving. Could it have been that Queen Vashti's only purpose was to make room for a queen? Sometimes, my sisters, we we have to make a mistake or we have to say no because what's, what's the job for the next queen is not the job for us. See, what Esther was, was charged to do, Vashti couldn't do. Sometimes you have to move over and say, oh, nope, I'm not going to do it. Nope, I can't do it. See, Queen Vashti disobeyed the king, but we're going to see later on in the book, so did Esther. Queen Vashti's purpose came with punishment, but it had to make room for the next queen's purpose for the people, to save the people. So even in her saying no, Queen Vashti was not a villain. She was not wicked. It just wasn't it just wasn't Queen Vash's purpose to do what Esther did. Sometimes your no gonna come with consequences. Sometimes your no gonna come with ridicule and being talked about and pushed aside and abandoned. But when, but when your no makes room for a queen, your purpose has already been met. Your it, it your purpose is well worth it. So a lot of times, a lot of us feel sorry for Queen Vashti because we felt that the we feel that the queen, the king punishment was too cruel. But we all know back in the back in the the Bible times and in kingdom time, we talking about kings and queens and in palaces. You could you could not say no to a king. But her no was for a purpose. It's caused punishment, but it made room for the next queen. Some, sometimes what you do, your, your sister can. Sometimes what you're not equipped to do, your sister can. So in your punishment, just uh, uh, adjust your crown and, and stand back in, in awe of what the next queen can do. Your, your, your no can be the next queen's purpose. Your purpose can be the next queen's no. But in all, these two queens, they played a hand in saving the Jews. So, adjust your crown. If it didn't work for you, 
it'll work for the next queen. If it didn't pan out, if it does seem like you don't, you don't been abandoned, you don't been talked about, you don't been ridiculed of your no, of your mistake, of your disobedience, marvel in the fact that it'll be, it'll work out for the next queen to save the people. I hope and I pray that the first episode of this Esther series, Adjust Your Crown, has really blessed you. Because it really, really blessed me. I really got more understanding into who Queen Vashti was. No, she was not just a villain, a wicked woman, or somebody that disobeyed the king. Her job was done after she made room for Queen Esther. So we're going to dive into this series and we're going to get down to the get down. So I hope and pray that you was blessed. I pray that you have a beautiful Sunday, a blessed Sunday. Make room for the next queen. Adjust your crown. Stand up. Walk in your power. I love y'all. Bye.